even get to Mars. Hey guys, Adrid here. Today I'll be talking about the new Clash of Clans update. This is brand new, it came out today, and it has a whole bunch of new features which I'm going to talk about throughout this video. So as you may have heard, this is one of the biggest Clash updates ever. So the reason why is because there's Town Hall 11 finally, there's a hero and a new defense, there's new troop levels and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'll talk to you about all that and just keep watching. So first is gameplay balancing. What this is, is it makes it more fair to the people to attack so it finds a fair match and then it lets you attack them. So you won't be attacking lower town hall levels as much anymore and it's going to be fair to those lower than them not getting bullied by the higher town hall levels. Now to the most interesting part of this is the town hall um, 11 which gives a whole bunch of new things such as the grand warden and many of you have been waiting for a new hero such as this. This gives a whole bunch of battlefield uh, new spells and stuff. Eagle Artillery is a new defense, and um, I can't wait to get it when I level up finally to uh, 11. But most of you be, will be enjoying this. There's also some little tweaks such as um, new levels to defenses and other buildings. Now this is the saddest part of it. They removed um, farming, so the town hall, if you leave it outside, if it gets destroyed, it's not going to give you a star anymore or a shield. So this is really sad to those people who are trying to protect the loot and this also means that uh, now you get 30% is one star, 60% is two stars and then 100% is uh, the third star and uh, if they only use over 50% of the army that's only when you get a shield. So if they use anything under 50% it's going to be pretty cheap because um, Town Hall 10 is going to attack anything lower than them. If they use less than their, half their um, army you are not going to get a shield. So this is um, a really sad part of this update. Everyone's going to be complaining about this, I know, but let's just see where it goes. Now let's talk about Guard. So what Guard is, is um, it's like another shield, but it gives you um, a time limit after your shield ends that you can attack anyone, but you can get attacked. So it can go from 15 minutes, I think, to 2 hours. And this is really good because for the players that don't want to, don't want to get attacked after they've been raided. So... Uh, this helps the lower players uh, farm a lot better even though that farming is not there anymore. And um, also the shield, now you can attack with the shield on but it takes away 3 hours of the shield. So it's more reasonable than the last one where you attack and then the whole shield just goes away. Richard rating and trophies, this basically lets Town Hall hold a lot of loot which also um, basically takes away the point of farming because if you leave it outside you're going to lose a lot of loot. And now league bonuses give a better loot bonus, plus the trophies, um, well you earn more trophies through battles. Do the spell shuffle. Now what you've all been waiting for for a while is a donating spells, but this is a little twist on it, you can only donate dark spells. So it's a little uh, worse than normal spells, but it's okay, it's something still, you can help out your fellow clan members. And uh, the donated spells will receive all the existing clan perks. Um, so if it's two levels up, it gets bumped up two levels just like the normal clan perks to uh, reinforcement troops. And um, free spells is now unlocked at Town Hall 9 and it has a longer dur duration than. And lastly, there are some other balancing improvements which uh, they've added some achievements and they've uh, changed up all the interface of uh, many things. So I think that's a little cool because it looks uh, flat now. And there's um, multiplayer matchmaking, it's more fair as I said before, so it won't give you people that are uh, a lot lower than you and stuff. So it's also a good loot opportunity, you can get a lot of loot through this. Um, I've raided a couple of people before, and um, it's not like before where you get the really uh, garbage loot, but now it's a reasonable range, it's just 100k to 200k every, uh, every raid almost. So I think this is really good for the game. I don't think I don't know what you guys think of this update, but to let me know in the comments. It might be for the better or worse. I don't know. So just comment down below. Click like if this helped you to understand what this update does uh, better. And thanks for watching, guys. I dread out.